Mm-hmm. It's a crazy time podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, nah, I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. So, uh, so our, uh, our country is showing examples again and showing examples. Brazil decided to have their own little January 6th party. <laughs> Did you see that? I mean, people get pissed, man. <laughs> well, I think the one thing about this that I thought was kind of wild was like, yeah. nobody was in the building. Like there wasn't the government wasn't in session that day. Oh, they were just they just they were just like you know what we're gonna do go in and destroy shit. Nobody's here. Like why you give them that accent? (laughs) So isn't that what Brazilian folks sound like? Pretty sure that is not the (laughs) national British Brazilian. Not British. That's Brazil British. Yeah, you're right. That's not Brazilian. Okay, but uh, and then of course the guy I can't remember the guy's name. The guy who's like basically Brazil's Trump. Mm. Uh, he was in the U.S. and all of a sudden he's like, oh, I'm ill. He had to go to the hospital like right after that Mm. happened. He's like, oh, I got some food poisoning or something. Which I guess that's what he did in his country when things got wild. He just like all of a sudden had to get admitted into the hospital. <laughs> he pulls that. What's that called? Where you fake sick? The faking sick. Well, no, there's a term for it. Where like you always think you ha- you have an ailment. It's a medical uh, term. Uh, hypochondriac. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh god, I'm out of pressure. I just got the the stomach bugs. I, you know what, Jonas? I honestly don't understand. Like, look, I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. Me and Jonas, we. We, we have, like, the podcast feels a little skewed at times. I am not a political person. Oh, yeah, me neither, really, to be honest. I swear to God, dude. I swear to God, I'm not. I just... I don't, I don't fall either side, to be honest, when it comes to the political spectrum, but... I mean, I definitely fall more liberal, but, like, I think I portray myself a lot farther to one side than I really am. I mean, sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, it's fine. I mean, you know, if it walks like a duck, talks like a hey, duck. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Anyway, so I don't really understand being so engrossed in political debate that you have to go somewhere and fuck shit up. I've never <laughs> been there. I have never been there. Let, let me, let me put the caveat to that. I don't feel the need to go fuck shit up for any reason <laughs> no matter what nothing has ever got me so mad that i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just go break shit somewhere else right now right, when right. i was younger i did rage out at video games and have broken a controller and i learned yeah, my I lesson could, because i, I was that. young and my mom was like oh that program will control you want you broke huh bet you want another one don't you and i was like absolutely she's like nope buy it yourself and i was like but i don't need money she's like yeah don't throw the shit against the wall then fair and i'm like so then i just started having a pillow next to me and i would like Gently tap the pillow with my fist when I got angry instead. Yeah, I've never, I've never really had. Oh uh, yeah, but then I, had, I don't do that anymore. So I don't know. I mean, you know, we as as children, I guess we have like less emotional control. issues. Yeah. But as a grown ass adult, to go down and go uh, like attack a building and oh, jump all the, over and that, climb it, like that's childlike behavior. Do you know what it would take me as a grown ass man to like yeah. just. Get out of the house to go, like, do, like, I mean, like, oh, my God, I'm so upset. Let me walk down there and tell them how I feel, like. It, look, man, I'm not going to cap. Like, when when the George Floyd thing happened was the closest I've ever been go, to going somewhere to I protest. Agree. I, I agree. <laughs> and if it wasn't COVID, like, the height of COVID during all of that. But when this came down to it, I was like, I don't care. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, didn't, I care that the man was killed, and I think it was an injustice. But when it came down to like putting my shoes and making a <laughs> sign, like I gotta go buy markers and poster board and no stick. I'm not doing all that tape. I don't even know that guy. Yeah, yeah. like ask me my opinion. It was an injustice. Yeah, just... Ask me to go downtown and walk around in a hot ass Austin heat with a sign and some markers. That Fuck is actually you. that's a very good point because I. Like, and I don't know if it's just because, like, I've been so emotionally numbed over the years from all the shit that's happened to me and in the world and everything. But, like, it takes an awful lot to get, like, like, I'll have an initial quick emotional reaction, like, fuck that shit or whatever. Like, and then, but it's like 30 seconds. I'm like, that's it. Like, by the time I would get up and even go to, like, walk in the other room to get a jacket, I'd be like, what was I in here for? Like, I don't get that. Like, my emotions don't stay that high for that long about anything. I mean, that's that's probably good. Yeah, like, and I, and I get why people, I get, and this is going to sound so effing crass, people care so much about what everyone else is doing. 
<laughs> that part is so true. Like it's like that part is so. It's true. It's like I can't tell you how many times I've heard people just be like, blah blah blah. Look at this person doing blah blah. blah. And I'm like, why do you care? All right, so at least allow me to play devil's advocate yeah, let's do with it. Uh, when it comes to political. Uh, <laughs> oh, being in, that engrossed in political stuff that so I really people, don't get at all. People yes. will tell you is that <clears throat> this is this is my country. I'm proud of my country, yes. and I want my country to be the best. What what's your answer to that? Uh, yeah, absolutely, dude. Write your congressman. So, what better way to display my uh, allegiance to my country to, to go down there and show them that I don't like the way that things are going and commit crimes? I mean, look, there may be crimes, there may not be crimes. <laughs> I mean, we but, have the right to assembly. We have the right to protest. Right, yep. We do not have the right to break into buildings. I mean... If they would, like, even on January 6th, if they would have went down there and just stood outside and not went broken into the building, yeah. it would not have been nearly as of a bad situation. Yeah. I mean, they could have went down there and stood on the steps and done all the stuff, and they could have said, hey, you gotta get off the steps, it's private property, you know, whatever. Yeah. The second thing started to get broken... Yeah. That was the start of like, because that's what happens. I mean, that's that's how riot. You know, it's like peaceful protest turns into a goddamn well, riot. Well, as devil's advocate, Jonas, look the uh, the <laughs> only thing that is going to sometimes when talking doesn't work, you gotta yeah. take action. All right. Okay. So what are you doing? What actions are you taking to make this country better? None. Okay. Well, I'm out here breaking into the White House. Well, not me. Not me. Let, I'm let not me, doing let, this let hypothetical. Me, let me tell you. Let, let me play uh, devil's advocate to this. So, it's just like you say all the time: freedom of speech. You can say whatever the hell you want. There's that ramifications to your to your words. You can do whatever you feel is necessary to prove your point. As many of those people did, and now they're sitting their ass in jail because they <laughs> broke the goddamn law. That's so true. And, and like, hey. <laughs> You do what you want. If I wanted to go, if I was so pissed at the city of Austin, I want to go downtown and throw a whatever through a window downtown. I could do that every yeah, day of yeah. the week. You have free room. You have free range of motion. You you have access to all of your kinematics. You yeah. can do whatever you want. Right, right. But the goddamn cops are going to come and put me in jail. So I stop throwing hammers through the windows downtown. Like it's going to happen. So how does a person who feels very strongly about the way this country's being ran because when you look, honestly, Jonas, it's, it's I was thinking about it the other day. Okay. When, uh, because like obviously, I'm I'm pro choice. Um, I have no no qualms about stating that because I, I say yeah. Let's I mean, let I'll, I'll go. I'm on that train too. I'll just so. say let people do whatever the hell they want to do. But when you look at a lot of other countries, yeah, religion is one of the main driving factors, whether it be Shintoism or Muslim or Ju Judaism. It's like, uh -huh. and they and they base a lot of their their culture on that. And I kind of feel what, like, and what the consensus of what is right and wrong is is based on religion. Yeah, and I kind of feel like America does a lot of the same things. Like a lot of the effect of like some of the some of the crimes and some of the stuff that we don't tolerate in society was stoked in like the original religious uh, people who came over here for their religious freedoms. Whoa. What is what's going on in our country right now? The the the, the de-evolution of religion being a, a big factor, and the old that are still holding on to Christianity are fighting to keep it, and the new wave of like uh, yeah. be woke and do all this stuff that goes against some of that stuff is is coming in. But they're becoming the majority because less people are going to church. Anyway, sorry. There's yeah. some hypocrisy in it, though, to be honest, because the, if you are the, uh, deep into like Christianity or whatever. Like a lot of the things that are considered woke are exactly what Christianity teaches, but it's more or less just people don't want things to change. And so I feel like it's not necessarily based on the right ideals. It's more based in just like things were better when I was a kid. Well, well, well and here's the thing too with that. It's, it's, if you are one of the haves, and in order to make everything equal, you have to give up something that you have, whether it's, uh, whether it's rights to another minority to make sure that everyone's treated equally or rights to women or rights to whatever. And you're part of the group that's always had everything handed to you. And you have to then like give up something that you want. Some people like me, I'm like, yeah, that, that seems pretty fair. Like I, I'm a cis white male. Like, you know, I get it. I have a lot of privilege, like whatever. But like some people are like, 
F no, things don't need to change. I'm not giving up my corner of the market for <laughs> that <laughs> fill in the blank. You know what I mean? People, I know there's like a certain subset of people when you said cis white male that cringe so hard because like that is one of those terms. It's like, no, we don't, we didn't say that back in my day. We call people the F word. <laughs> the N word. <laughs> the N word on, on Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> and, I used to come, and I used to come home and beat my wife and nobody knew. Right. Nobody knew. I'd smack her and she'd get up and cook and me dinner. And now I gotta work with a whatever. And then I gotta word. work with a bunch of Japanese. From yeah, the, Orient. Like they say Oriental. Yeah. Orientals. Yeah, it's like oh my. It's like Lord. Vietnamese. It's it's. I mean, like I feel. I really didn't. And like we can wrap up soon, but like I feel though, like we're really. It's gaining. All that stuff is gaining so much traction, and the people who are so resistant are getting so old. That we really are on a precipice of turning a giant corner. I mean, that sounds great, Jonas, but when you think about it, man, who the country is run by mostly old white dudes, el elderly guys. But they're all gonna. I mean, but they're all getting so old yeah, yeah, yeah. that, like, within the next 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. they're not get. They, they just aren't gonna be alive or whatever to be able to still have the hold they have, and they can try to pass it down. But now we're <laughs> doing so much better of letting like diversity and everything into our elected officials and whatever. And I feel like for the future, that will be a good thing. It's, it's going to take another decade to get anywhere where we need to be. And, but. and the most impossible thing you can do is you can't fight against the flow of time. Things are going to change. So ride the fucking wave, deal with it and adapt. Write this down. The only thing consistent is change there. Thanks. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com. From Jonas. TNT. We out.